Hi folks, back again, Bathrobe Chronicles number 142, and I'm not doing a very good job tonight, and I will readily admit that. And uh, if any of this stuff makes it out on YouTube, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> My production assistant in the background is cackling. Anyway, this is kind of an interesting one. There's a fellow, uh, James Burda, B-U-R-D-A, and I first learned about uh, this gentleman three, four, five, six years ago. And at that time, what happened is he he developed, for lack of a better word, something. It's B-A-H-L-A-G, or Q-E-E-M, and supposedly it's pronounced Balakim. <clears throat> How about if I just say B? I, I, I just really don't want to say this Balakim, you know, time after time after time. Anyway, uh, three, four, five, six years ago, he was a practicing, if you will, chiropractor in the state of Ohio. And as I best remember, he's driving down the street and something happened to his foot or something. And he could uh, some way visualize the bones in his foot or something. And he told them to get straightened up or something. And they did. And, and that's what he did. He, 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 he dreamed up this thing, for lack of a better word, this Balakim B. Uh, uh, ironically, <laughs> and I was shocked by this, the uh, Board of Chiropractors took his license. They said he had a mental illness and it was uh, the grandiose type or something. And they actually took his license. As I told uh, my production assistant, <laughs> the reason they took his license is because they were ticked off because he was sitting at home hauling in some money and doing nothing other than telling these people he was going to heal them, he could see their bones, and so on and so forth. Anyway, here's the deal. Uh, the other day, just for the heck of it, I did a, a search, and he popped up. Now, he is no longer a practicing chiropractor, whatever that means, but he's now uh, full bore on this Balakim stuff, this B. I'm sure most of you don't have any interest in any of this or anything that I say, but here's here's basically what, what he's saying. What I do, this is uh, Mr. Berta, uh works very well. If you don't get the relief you expect, it may be because the problem involves something else. I'm constantly learning and therefore there's a good chance the answer to helping you will be discovered soon, so please have patience. My main goal is to get your body to function at optimal efficiency so that you could have a more abundant life. Blah, 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 blah. Now, there's this word, Vina, V-I-N-A. Have you heard of that? I'm asking my production assistant. She, and, and she's fairly knowledgeable about this kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. Okay, I've had a little iced tea to drink tonight. Anyway, I don't know. I'm going to say Vina, uh, V-I-N-A. And um, he, he goes on to say, I promise that I will do my best to help you. Right now, there are a few reasons why this vena may not work, and they are, you really do not want to get better. Ah, this is a good one. Yes, the, you don't want to get better. The pain or other symptom is there so that you can learn a lesson which comes from the highest of sources. He doesn't say what that means. Uh, there is more going on than I know at the time, but can learn later. And number four, difficulty in diagnosing what I need to do to help you from a distance, because, of course, I cannot see you. Yeah, he does this stuff. You can call him, send him an email or whatever, and he will go to work on you. Now, interestingly, and I admire him for this, he mentions on his website, uh that he uh, used to be a chiropractor. He mentions that. And they have his license taken away. But this, this is uh, pretty interesting. The diagnostic procedure involves asking questions either out loud or silently as to how different bones are misaligned, twisted, rotated, or displaced. Once the diagnosis is completed, the correction is made either by telling the bone to shift to its proper position or by hand directing it. The vena is performed while thinking about the area that needs to change. This is the gift which I have been given, my ability 
to tell the body to make changes. Now, that sounds pretty cool. What you sense, uh, then he goes on and on and on. What you sense may be different from other people. You may feel bones actually moving, tingling, feeling throughout your body, increased soreness, decreased soreness, pain, aches, blah, 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 blah. Now, one thing I like about him is he charges uh, $60 for a session. But, but he, he basically is saying if, if you don't think it works, then you, know, you don't have to pay me. Which that's interesting. Yes? Battery is getting low. Battery is getting low. Yell when it you know, craps out. You know. he, anyway, as I said, he charges $60 and uh, he'll give you as many Vena, Vina, whatever, sessions as needed within a 24-hour period without extra charge. Um, I'll tell you, folks, this is another good one here. This is this, uh, I don't even know what to say. This is a guy who you can email him, you can call him, whatever, tell him what's going on, and he's going to get your bones back in alignment. He's gonna, This Vina, V-I-N-A, whatever in the world that is. And the, the only thing I really somewhat like about the fellow is he says that if it doesn't work, you don't have to pay him. In other words, it's not like money up front. Uh, you know, he takes credit cards, of course, you know, as all these folks do. But... I don't know if you've actually heard of uh, uh, Mr. Berta, I believe, who uh, actually made Keith Oberman's uh, worst person of the world one night. He was uh, actually second uh, when it first came to light that he was a licensed chiropractor in the state of Ohio and was doing all this, for lack of a better word, mumbo jumbo stuff. But anyway, for whatever it's worth, James Berta, if you have problems with your bones, it's only 60 bucks, and if it doesn't work, you know, you don't have to pay. Him. <laughs> My production assistant is laughing, and I'm beginning to wonder, what the hell am I even doing here? Why am I even doing these things? But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out in the wilderness. <laughs> 20, 25 minutes from Charlottesville, uh, Bathroom Chronicles on the road, and as uh, Pac-On-Dev would say, peace, ladies and gentlemen, peace.